Hello all and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before I get started, I'm say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Donai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and, com and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you speak the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. <coughs> Excuse me. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohinu, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to line you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is the first part of Teruma, Exodus 25, 1 through 27, 19. Yahweh said to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel that they may take for me a contribution. From every man whose heart moves him, you shall receive a contribution for me. And this contribution that you shall receive from them gold, silver, and bronze, blue and purple and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linens, goat hair, tanned rams, skins, goats, Acacia wood, oil for the lamp, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrance incense, on onyx stones, and stones for setting, for the ephod, and for the breastpiece. Let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell in their midst, exactly as I show you concerning the pattern of the tabernacle, and of all its furniture, so that you shall make it. Whoops. Uh, they shall make an ark of acacia wood, two cubits and a half shall be its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth, and a cubit and its a cubit and a half its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold, inside and outside you shall overlay it, and you shall make on it a molding of gold around it. And you shall cast four rings of gold <coughs> for it, and put them on its four feet, four rings on the one side of it and two rings on the other side of it. You shall make pieces of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. And you shall put the poles into the rings on the ark. They shall not be taken from it. And you shall put into the ark the testimony that I shall give you. You shall make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be its length and a cubit and a half its breadth. And you shall make two cherubim of gold. One of hammered work you shall make them. On the two ends of the mercy seat, make one cherub on one end and one cherub on the other. Of one piece with the mercy seat you shall make the cherubim on its two ends. The cherubim shall spread their wings out above, overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings, their face, their faces one to another. Toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be and you shall put the mercy seat on the top of the ark. And in the ark you shall put the testimony that I shall give you. There I will meet with you. And from above my mercy seat, from between the two cherubim that are on the ark of the testimony, I will speak with you about all that I will give you in commandment for the people of Israel. You shall make a table of acacia wood. Two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. You shall overlay it with pure gold, and make a molding of gold around it, and you shall make a rim around its headbreast, wide and molding of gold around the rim, and you shall make it four rings of gold, and fasten the rings to the four corner at its four legs. Close to the front close to the frame the rings shall lie. As holders for the poles to carry the table, you shall make the poles of acacia wood. And overlay them with gold, and the table shall be carried with these. And you shall make its plates and dishes for incense, and its flagons and bowls with which to pour drink offerings. You shall make them of pure gold. And you shall set the bread of the presence on a table before me regularly. You shall make a, lamp, a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand shall be made of hammered work, its base, its stem, its cups, its calyxes, and its flowers shall be of one piece with it. 
And there shall be six branches going out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side of it, and three branches of the lampstand out the other side of it, three cups made like almond blossoms, each with a calyx and flower. On the other branch, so <coughs> for the six branches going out of the lampstand, and on the lampstand itself there shall be four cups made like almond blossoms, with their calyxes and flowers, and a calyx of one piece with it under each pair of the six branches going out from the lampstand. Their calyxes and their branches shall be of one piece with it, the whole of it, a single piece of hammered work of pure gold. You shall make seven lamps for it, and the lamp shall be set up so as to give light on the, on the space in front of it. Its tongs and her trays shall be of pure gold. It shall be made with all of these utensils out of a talent of pure gold. And see that you make them after the pattern for them, which is being shown you on the mountain. Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twined linen and blue and purple and scarlet yarns. You shall make them with cherubim skillfully worked into them. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains shall be the same size, five cubits, oops, five curtains shall be coupled to one another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another. And you shall make loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtain on the first set. Likewise, you shall make loops on the edge of the outermost curtain on the second set. Fifty loops you shall make on the one curtain, and fifty loops you shall make on the other curtain, that is, the second set. The loops shall be opposite one another, and you shall make fifty clasps of gold. And couple the curtains one to another with the clasps, so that the tabernacle may be a single whole. You shall also make curtains of goat hair for a tent over the tabernacle. Eleven curtains you shall make. The length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain shall be four cubits. The eleven curtains shall be the same size. You shall couple five curtains by themselves, six curtains by themselves, and six curtains you shall double over at the front of the tent. You shall make fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is outermost in one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is outermost in the second set. You shall make fifty clasps of bronze, and put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tent together, that it may be a single whole, and a part that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains shall be hung over the back of the tabernacle, and the extra that remains in the length of the curtains, the cubit on the one side and the cubit on the other side, shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle on this side and that side to cover it. And you shall make for the tent a covering of tanned ram skins and a covering of goat skins on top. You shall make upright frames for the tabernacle of acacia wood. Ten cubits shall be the length of a frame, and a cubit and a half the breadth of each frame. There shall be ten, there shall be two tenons in each frame for fitting together, so that you do for all the frames of the tabernacle. So shall you do for all the frames of the tabernacle. You shall make the frames for the tabernacle twenty frames for the south side, Forty base of silver you shall make under the twenty frames, two bases under one frame for its two tenons, and two bases under the next frame for its two tenons, and for the second side of the tabernacle and the north side, twenty frames, and there are forty bases of silver, two bases under one frame, and two bases under the next frame, and for the rear of the tabernacle westward you shall make six frames. And you shall make two frames for corners of the tabernacle in the rear, they shall be separate, beneath, but joined at the top, at the first ring. Thus shall it be with both of them. They shall form the two corners, and there shall be eight frames from their base of silver, sixteen bases, two under one frame and two bases under another frame. You shall make bars of acacia, five for the frames of the one side of the tabernacle, and five for the frames of the other side of the tabernacle, and five for the frames 
of the side of the tabernacle at the rear westward. The middle bar halfway up frames you shall run from end to end. You shall overlay the frames with gold and make their rings of gold for holders for the bars. And you shall overlay the bars with gold. And you shall erect the tabernacle according to the plan for it that you were shown on the mountain. You shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen, and it shall be made with cherubim skillfully worked in. And you shall hang it on four pillars of acacia overlaid with gold, with hooks of gold, on four bases of silver. And you shall hang the veil from the clasps and bring the ark of the testimony in there within the veil. And the veil shall separate you from the holy place, separate for you the holy place from the most holy. You shall put this mercy seat on the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. And you shall set a table outside the veil, the lampstand on the south side of the tabernacle opposite the table. And you shall put the table on the north side. You shall make a screen for the entrance of the tent of blue, purple, and scarlet yarns and fine twine linen embroidered with needlework. And you shall make for the screen five pillars of acacia and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold. And you shall cast five beams you shall cast five vases of bronze for them. You shall make the altar of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be square, and its height shall be three cubits, and you shall make horns for it on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it, and you shall overlay it with bronze, and you shall make pots for it to receive its ashes and shovels, and basins, and forks, and fire pans, and you shall make all of its utensils of bronze, and you shall also make for it a grating of, a grating, a network of bronze, and on a net you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners, and you shall set it under the edge of the altar, so that the next extends halfway down the altar. And you shall make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with bronze. And the poles shall be put through the rings so that the poles are on the two sides of the altar when it is carried. You shall make it hollow with boards, as it has been shown to you on the mountain, so shall it be made. You shall make the cord of the tabernacles on the south side of the court shall be hangings of fine twine linen in a hundred cubits long for one side. As twenty pillars and their twenty bases shall be of bronze, but the hooks of the pillars and their fillets should be silver. And likewise for its length on the north side there shall be hangings and a hundred cubits long. Its pillars twenty and their bases twenty of bronze, but the hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And for the breadth of the court on the west side there shall be hangings for fifty cubits, with ten pillars and ten bases. The breadth of the court on the Front to the east shall be fifty cubits. The hangings for the w one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, with their three pillars and three bases. On the other side of the hangings shall be fifteen cubits, and their three pillars and bases. For the gate of the court shall be a screen twenty cubits long of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twine linen embroidered with needlework. It shall have five pillars with them four bases. Oh no, it, should, it shall have four pillars and with them four bases. All the pillars around the court shall be fill, filleted with silver. Their hooks shall be of silver. Their bases of bronze. The length of the court shall be a hundred cubits and its breadth fifty. And the height five, cu five cubits, with hanging of fine twined linen and bases of bronze. All the utensils of the tabernacle for every use, all its pegs and all the pegs of the court shall be done of bronze. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Adonai Elohim, Melach Kalom, Ashenatalinu, Tereni Met Baishin, Alom Natab.
Betta can you broke a tar donut in Tina Tara?